Hey guys, it's Chris with Inertia Lab here. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing a setup from Tractive for the F80 that's compatible with EDC suspension on the BMW. So when you get the setup, you get two boxes. We're going to start with the big box and then get to the small box. So start with the rear. You get obviously the shock. Uh, in the rear it's divorced, so the springs are in the, the uh, separate box. But you get a mount for the sensor. You know, all the bushings are already installed. These on the Touring setup come with a rubber eyelet, so it helps uh, keep NVH down. Um, and it also uses the stock top mount, which this adapts to, just to keep it quiet. So that's the rear shock has the cable and connector that comes out of the end, which is compatible with the factory wiring harness. So you literally just plug it in, it's plug and play. So each front and the rear section come with their own small box of components, which has various things inside. So these are the rear spring height adjusters. Essentially you have spring cup and you can adjust it for the front. So on the front, it's an inverted strut. It comes with you know the brackets, various brackets that you need already on there in the right position. There's a mounting sleeve for the upright. Uh, there's a specific distance from the bottom that this should be. It should be about 55 millimeters, 56 millimeters. And it also has the EDC suspension cable coming out of the bottom. So there's some extra length. And again, this setup is a touring setup. So this is designed, this end piece is designed to mount to the factory top mount so that it retains the rubber isolation and it's very quiet. Honestly, the touring setup is 90% of the advantage that you're going to get because the key component is the valving, the electronic valve and the tractive. It's been on the market for a long time, 2012 is when we started dealing with them. They're extremely fast responding. Uh, they have a huge range. And part of the allure of that is that you get more range of use of the car's suspension. So essentially in the standard mode, it's much more comfortable and softer, even though this, the setup is technically a little tighter on paper, it feels a lot better. And then when you put it in Sport Plus mode, it really tightens up without being super harsh. It's, it just feels way more competent and a lot, the handling has improved uh, a lot. So it's a really good setup. It's probably the best setup you can get for your money. So at the moment, these are not the cheapest setup, but they are the best. You can't get a better setup. There is another version of this called the Road and Track, which is more for people who want to, you know, race their car a little bit more seriously than just drive it around. So you get the camera adjustability, spherical ends instead of the rubber ends and linear race springs. So you can, uh, you know, swap rates out and stuff like that. So, but the valving inside is all the, is the same. So this is most of the advantage. Uh, it also comes with end links of the correct length in the front. That's another thing that it comes with. So in this setup, you get the tool that's used on almost all the components for Tractive. It's got uh, a cap that unscrews all the little bits and stuff are inside that you put in the end of this for adjusting like the set screw and the spring perch. There's some little screws and things on there. Most of it you won't use. Uh, one of them is a stud so you can adjust the spring perch. Uh, so these obviously are height adjustable as well. All right, so here's Here's the adapters that adapt the setup to the factory harness from the cable that comes off of the shock itself. So there's one for each corner. There's no, there's no mystery here. The short ones are, are the rear because they're in the same location as the factory. The long ones are for the front because they come off the bottom in a different location. It allows you to tie it off however you want so that everything kind of goes together. So a little bit of merch. 
stickers and things. And then there's an instruction manual, which essentially goes over the details of the kit. So some boring stuff right there, but you know, as you, as you go through it, you get pictures and uh, of everything that should be in the kit, you know, various torque tables of how, you know, when you're installing, what to uh, torque the various fasteners that you'll come across. Instructions, general instructions of, you know, mounting and ride height. There's quite a bit in here. So uh, the rest is just like parts diagrams. So you know sort of how it's all supposed to fit together. And some of this is for road and track uh, because, because it's got the top mounts and stuff in it, but more or less it's, it's the same basic damper. So on to the next box. In the front, you have a iBox spring that fits against a 60 millimeter ID perch on the front strut and then matches up to the factory spring perch location on, on the chassis. Simple as that. We can, to this whole setup, add like a camber plate and we supply those. When you want camber adjustability to be added to this in the front, and then uh, also you can, you can get it with a 60 millimeter perch and just run a linear spring as well. Although at that point you're getting dangerously close to the road and track setup. So, you know, at which, at which point you just order it that way is, is up to you. But uh, then in the rear, it uses uh, the factory uh, rubber pads on the top and bottom. So either get new ones or use the ones you got. And this spring is designed to fit back there. So the dampers themselves, as far as they compare to other things on the market that are doing the same thing, like uh, the Damptronic and I think that's Bilstein's version and there's a KW version. The component quality is much higher. Uh, it's just a really high-end brand and they make really nice stuff. The fit and finish is fantastic. You can see it when it's new, it's just gorgeous. The inverted strut is something Trax has been doing the whole time. Uh, they, they make a 16 millimeter shaft. So instead of doing a 22, they invert a, an insert with a 16 millimeter shaft that goes down. They're pretty strong. You know, there's some advantages and disadvantages to inverted struts, but in this case, they come from the motorcycle world, a lot like Olin's really, and they've got the inverted strut situation down. So uh, the components are just really, really nice. And the valving, is really where it's at though. They look nice inside and out, but the valving is fantastic. Uh, it just improves the car. Like I was saying before, it makes it softer in the standard mode so that it's much more comfortable to drive. And then it expands in the performance end by making the car feel a lot tighter and better than any of the other setups on the market. And at the same time, it's not harsh. Even in the Sport Plus mode, it's not bad. So yeah, and they're, they're upgradable to the race springs if you want to do that. Uh, you can add camber plates to them, like I said, with Vorschlag. And it's, it's a really excellent setup. It's the best setup you can get for the F80 if you want to keep the EDC suspension and just have something that plugs right into your car. You install it like any other set of dampers and you don't need to delete the, uh, the factory setup. So I hope this uh, answered a lot of questions about this setup. Uh, we get asked about it a lot. And hopefully if you've never heard of it, you at least know something about it now and you have it as an option. If you need to source any of this stuff, obviously just reach out to us and we, we sell and service all this stuff. So if you have any issues, you don't have to send it back overseas, you just send it to us, we'll fix it. We have a factory connection, so that's, uh, that's just what we do. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.